Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe since 90 of guys of you guys are not doing that. And today we are doing another reaction video because we're tired and we want to post out one more video today. So let's get right into it. So today we are looking at Scary Comp by the best YouTuber. Okay. And uh, I'm just putting him out. I lost connections that come out of nowhere to unseen forces that are picked up by the camera the woman is beyond spooked now it's not only when she's gone that strange things happen but she there have been countless instances when something unexplainable occurred while being at home on one occasion the woman is in the kitchen when all of a sudden an object on her shelf just launches look off at on the... its own look at that look at the stuff in her background though bro this the, no wonder that 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 artifact right there that little giraffe thing is probably haunt like has 50 curses that thing probably has a billion curses these things probably have a trillion curses what do you mean why are you surprised look she has like tiki stuff on her walls no crap you're the haunted of all is when one day while sitting on the couch this happened no wonder why she's haunted and who paints their house pink? You deserve to be haunted. You deserve to be haunted when you're, you paint you paint your house pink. If your house pink, you deserve to be haunted. You know what I mean? They don't know air exists. Wind exists. Wow. Oh my god. Wind exists. Yeah, but that door was closed. And the handle moved. No, but it could just be... Like, not oh, really? closed, like, open. Yeah, but look, it's opening and closing itself, see? Yeah, like, no, nah, that, like, none of those doors are open. Weird. That, 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 no, she just deserves to be haunted, okay? That's all been fixed. She just deserves to be haunted. The woman is certain that there was no draft when this happened, as according to her, the whole apartment is sealed just tight enough to prevent any airflow from outside. Given that this has never happened before, she finds this very unusual. Bro, Sorry, you deserve yeah. to be haunted. You have ugly. Like this, among many others, that's been causing her a lot of anguish, as she doesn't know what to Paint do to stop this. For, okay, I'm going to tell oh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you how to stop this. If you watch this video, get rid of all the decorations, all those tiki heads, all those weird-ass statues. Throw it in the trash. Sell it. Get it out of there. Okay, personally, I have nothing in my house that could be at all haunted. I'm joking. They're in the back of the house. All the creepy shit I keep in the back of the house, and I pray every night that I don't get haunted. Next, paint your walls not pink, okay? And then you have just officially became not haunted. Congratulations. Pink walls like Jesus. What's going on? It's taking a toll on her mental health. Yeah. That's her Out fault. of all occurrences, one in particular has pushed her to take action by seeking help from others. The incident <sighs> is nonetheless pretty creepy. This is what was caught. A wall? She caught a wall. Oh my god, bro. Can you believe that? She caught a wall. What happened? Oh, she's. What is she speaking? Is she speaking Spanish? I don't know. Oh no, no, this is real because the cat is effing scared to hell. That's how you know it's real if the cat or dog is scared. That's a big indication. If the cat or dog is not scared, then no, that's fake. Look at it. The cat. I don't know. Does that cat look scared? Or does it doesn't not look scared? No, the girl likes she has, and uh, the girl probably has PTSD or something. I don't know, man. Okay, so at least I got another person from another country to <laughs> do this scary video because you guys. That cat does not like her. That cat does not like her at all. That cat just doesn't like her. I feel like that's not yeah. being cursed. That cat just doesn't like it. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. You know what? Never mind. That house is haunted. That, that no, scared no, the think, shit out of her. I think certain doors can do that automatically. 
Or, my door does that. Probably she has a window. My, my door open. Has, there's no windows open in my house. My door closes by itself. Here we go again. I, I, I say, hey, if my door is open, I say, hey, close my door. And then all of a sudden my door closes. And I'm like, thank you very much, my man. Haha, <laughs> dab me up. That's how I am with the ghost. The ghost, me and him, chill. For real, for real, bro. <laughs> the ghost is probably not even knowing what I'm saying. But we chill for real, for real. Okay, She's so talking to the camera. She's trying to make. She's trying to adopt us. Then fix. She's trying to adopt us. <laughs> Get out of here, you crazy woman. Well, close the door, dumbass. Close the door. I mean, I don't understand. If a door is closing by itself, you don't open it. You keep it closed because I, that door wants to be closed. The ghost wants that door to be closed, so just keep it closed, okay? Yeah. The door wants to be closed, you let the door be closed. That cut is done with her bullshit. Uh, not that really that scary. Again, the door just somehow moves on its own. Even the cat appears to be scared as it quickly jumps off the bed after sensing something wrong. It quickly rushes out of the doorway as to avoid being crushed by the door. Naturally, the music can help enough. If no draft had caused this, then how did it close on its own? That is scary though. As with previous incidents, she can't seem to explain this. Uh, well, I, I know, I've right already door. explained it. Look at the, her background. That thing right there, right there Maybe above the her is haunted. That statue right there is for real haunted, okay? Am I right, Benfic? Is this woman actually experiencing yeah, activity? You don't have creepy ass stuff else in your house. Very nice. Oh my god, she has neighbors. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god, she lives in an apartment. In yeah, she said she had Leah. man is looking outside his window when he notices something odd. All this stuff is creepy. This stuff is creepy. All this stuff in Mexico and Brazil is the creepiest. As he takes a closer look at one of these mannequins, something pretty baffling look, happens. Look at this. This is what he captured. What are they speaking? You, you need to know because you speak every language. Oh my god, it blinked. Oh god, Ben Fick, it blinked. It blinked. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just adding uh, sound effects. Replay. Oh, shit. Uh, my bad. Uh, oh, what what uh, are we seeing? Look, it's blinking. MTN it's thing. blinking. Look. Yeah. That shit ain't natural. Oh, but I think there's some mannequin that do that. As if the mannequin itself wasn't creepy enough. Th is this what you have in your country, Ben Fift? In there in Portugal? Sometimes. <laughs> but not outside of the building. <laughs> Someone's gonna the take it home. Terrified by what he'd seen, the man is at a loss for words as he tries to explain what just happened. Like something strange. Was LeBron James? You know what you do if that happens. I'm gonna explain what you guys do. You buy oh. that, okay? You buy that doll. You go to the middle of the desert. Then you get a little match and you get some gasoline. You spill it over there. You go ahead and have a gas that like leads up to it and burns the doll. You drive off and let it burn and then it's gone. Boom! Make so sure you put you salt around it. Mike, like, Make you sure you put Mike, salt like, around it. Water right. Use salt dead. too. You have to salt it too. Make it sure it's real dead. Or have you guys it never seen scary story. movies? Yet, as with most videos, this one remains shrouded in mystery, as not much else is known about the clip. Whether the video was simply edited to pull this off is unknown, but it seems that many viewers find this video to be genuine, real or not. The thought of I know, I know that a lot of mannequins and stuff, a lot of like toys and dolls, have always been caught. Like blinking, that's like a real thing. I don't know what it is, but something going on with them. They always blink. It's terrifying on its own. Oh my god, Spooterman! Spooterman is coming alive! Spooterman is coming alive, and can you believe that? Can you believe I think that? It's because they don't have that part fixed, so the wind can cause that, maybe. 
What? It went, oh, it blinked. It didn't like close its eyes. If it just closed its eyes, it would have been like, okay, it just broke. But it actually just closed and opened its eyes. That's not a wind, Ben Ficked. Oh, what the uh, hell is loading? Maybe. There's a man on YouTube who's been documenting strange happenings in his house. Almost every video on his channel is solely based on the supposed paranormal occurrences that this man has been experiencing. It goes without saying, but some videos are pretty creepy. In one of his uploads, he captures uh... footage of an unexplainable incident that resulted in his mirror getting cracked. He has no idea as to how the mirror got cracked, but he said he, he was the right. house is accountable for this. He was he right. the right. hundred percent. The following may just be the creepiest. On October 3rd of 2022, the man is looking outside his window after seeing something outside. What happens moments later has left him unsettled. Watch. To hell. I don't see anything. Yeah. Is that water? Come on, there's a window too. Can't hear you, that thing's funny. Uh, that's actually really creepy because you can see that entire door. No. That just opened by the itself. The window was opened. Oh. Okay, okay, have you never, have you never seen a door? That's not how doors. That door would have slammed closed. Okay, wind currents to make that. Unless like he had a window open behind him, and, and it's nighttime. Nighttime is not windy. Benfic, that's real. Uh, unless he has a string. <laughs> unless he has like a fishing wire, which is a big possibility too. The door opens on its own, as though someone had come inside. He looks around, but can't find anyone or anything that might have opened it. Although spooky, it's the following night that leaves them even more spooked. I don't know. I'm I'm a big I'm a, I'm a believer, but I'm a believer at the same time. The same time it opened the night before. As he waits patiently, the following happens. Oh, his mirror's not broken, so that's a good thing. Hello. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I have bad posture. I need to fix that. There's only one. There's only one video on this entire internet that I believe is actually real. Okay, that I hundred believe that it is actually a real thing. It's when uh, I think we watched it on my last reaction video, but it's like someone moved a like. Like 400 pound wheel that's like oh, and, uh, and uh, hard, impossible, okay, to move. So, uh, uh. see this. Mm. Nah, that ain't anything. That ain't fishing wire. That ain't fishing wire. Hell no. Nah. I believe this guy now. Hey, oh, I'm funny, guys. Oh hell no! Nah. Oh hell no! Nah. That shit real, bro. This guy, it's real. It's real. I believe it's real. I believe it's a hundred percent real now. What I just saw there is a hundred percent real. There's no fishing wire or anything for that shit. Dude. Feeling beyond spooked. The man decides to spend the night somewhere else. He tells a friend about this creepy occurrence and stays the night at his place. However, that same night, something downright strange is captured by the security camera inside the friend's bedroom. Take a look. What? Wait. Oh, why does he have a camera in his bedroom? A shadow-like figure passes quickly against the wall before seemingly diving beneath the bed. It happens real fast, but you can make out the shadow on the wall before it disappears. 
Now the man mentions that the flashing lights are part of a motion sensitive device which had gone off after sensing movement in the room. It seems that whatever this was had triggered the sensor. So then, just what exactly had occurred that night? Viewers believe that the man had been followed by something, while some think that his friend's house was already haunted. It's unclear what was captured, but most viewers, including the man, believe that whatever this was, was paranormal in nature. Like most videos, there has yet to be an update on this whole situation. Ben faked. Ben faked. Ben faked, you're supposed to be reacting with me! Many people are finding hard to explain. Oh, the camera installed outside a workplace where the Reddit user swapped That makes works. sense. The father has no clue as to what was caught on camera, but nevertheless, he was terrified by the footage, as what was captured in it is something that one's mind would conjure up during a nightmare. On October 10th of 2022, the Reddit user's dad is looking at a security camera's live feed when out of nowhere, he sees this. Okay, that's expendable. That's just some dust. That's just some dust. Now that isn't explainable. What are those horses? That's like a ho that's like a horse is like a cavalry charge. That's exactly what that is. I bet that's a Despite old the war ground. Low resolution. You can still make out something pretty uncanny. Although we can't precisely tell what it is that we're seeing, Horses. it's obvious that something isn't right about the supposed people in the footage. Out of both people, one seems to have an unusual gait. It's as though they're walking on all fours, with a slight limp. It's this particular detail that's led viewers to believe that something otherworldly had been caught on camera. Or horses. But as always, what's your stance on this? I think yeah. it's horses. I think it was this horses. might be a skinwalker, or maybe even a horse, a deer, something like that. Oh, okay, that one is inexplicable. Okay, I live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a big truth bomb on everybody. I live in a 400 year old house. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. I'm not lying at all, guys. I live in a 400 year old house. Okay, and I have to say, this place is not haunted at all. It's been abandoned, it's been trashed, it's been literally everything. It's not haunted. It used to be haunted when we first moved in here. It was creepy as hell. But now it's not haunted. Trust me. And it's not scary at all. So, uh... Yep, I do not believe that there really is a ghost. Oh. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, yo, what's up? Anyway, uh, let's get back. In, let's get back into. I, didn't uh, know what I don't believe in it. Has yet to be determined as super scary or not. I don't know what that is, but it is scary. Okay, if I'm not gonna. Something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out. Oh, uh, I will tell you one thing. I do hear banging on the walls all the time, and I hear walking up in the attic. So that's all I hear, but it's not really that bad. We're chill. We're chill. We're chill. <laughs> That being said, let's get back to the video. That's what that's scary. There's one thing that makes the video twice as creepy. It's children staring at something that can't be seen. Children, oh my god. Them suddenly moves on its own, suggesting that something might actually be there. This next video is just as creepy as the one described. Jamie Primex Sullivan is a mother whose daughter, who at the time of this recording, was acting very strange. According to Jamie, almost every night after tucking her daughter into bed, she would catch her staring off at something in the corner of her room, even though there was clearly nothing there except for darkness. Although creeped out by this common occurrence, it's I'm not gonna lie to you, there are no dark Jamie corners in my room. They're Jamie all very and light. Are filming themselves inside their home after going out for dinner. They very light. About their day and eventually start talking about people in their family. However. When Charlie brings up Jamie's deceased grandmother in the conversation, things take a chilling turn. Watch. Oh my god, children. Where is my grandma? Mm -hmm. Heavy. Do you remember my grandma? Where is my grandma? Where is she? 
I mean, having. What did she do to make her go up and hit it? Did she do a smoker? No, she didn't do a smoker. She, she was just very old. She was almost 93, and her body just got very tired. My great grandma died at like 95. Why are they recording this? Why? What? what? I don't know. This is fake, obviously. It's fake. And I hate, you know, I hate yeah. the most is when people fake it. I think a lot of the other clips are real, but I hate when ch when they fake it and they bring their children into it, okay? Yeah. It's bull crap. Like Ryan Choi's yeah. review, he gets like paid nothing from his parents. It's messed up. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. <laughs> this is so fake. That's so fake. Mm. A reaction, man. And she said, Hi, Jamila. If I was that parent and that happened, that parent's getting that that child is getting adopted by somebody else. Okay, I'm putting that and in the child's too. Child love her. Had called her Jamila growing up. And child. There's no way that her daughter could have known this, as she was oh, well, never told about her nickname. Yeah, she probably was. Considering Charlie's odd behavior, such as saying things that aren't there, uh -huh, among other strange uh -huh. incidents, uh -huh. there's no doubting that Jamie was deeply. That's not even a fair scare. That's just like. Uh -huh. Just how exactly did Charlie know of her mom's nickname that was given by her grandma, who's been dead for years? Someone in the family While told her. Or she told her. Could have been in contact or with she the told her. Of great grandmother. Or she yeah, told her. I'm not really sure what to make of this. Obviously fake. Whether or not people believe her, Jamie is convinced that someone or something had made contact with her child. I look in a corner when I'm trying to sleep. But it means what are you doing in my corner, man? I'm going to shoot you with my AK. What me? YouTuber Rusty Tucker posted a video of a chilling oh. incident. That was All graveyards are haunted, haunted so anything in a graveyard, I believe. The video was beyond creepy. It's weird. Legend has it that the Evergreen Cemetery in Jetsonia, Arkansas, is haunted by the spirit of a young girl who tragically died there in the 1900s. Died in a the graveyard? That's young weird. Girl was a mother who was searching for her missing child, who unfortunately got lost at the cemetery. After searching for several nights, the mother was found dead on top of a grave. She was later buried around the spot where she was found. Okay, okay. Ever since then, it's it is said that her ghost still wanders the cemetery searching for her child. Intriguing child story, probably got a better Rusty mother. Tucker explores the cemetery at night by using a small drone. Sure enough, the actual responsible parent. This is what the drone captured. It's not really that scary. It's just a graveyard at night. Of course, it's gonna be scary. Yeah. It's pretty high, too. Bro, oh, you're in a drone. You're in a drone. Why didn't you go towards it? All of a sudden, the figure of what looks to be a woman appears. Why didn't it? Woman. Why didn't you go it closer? As though Fake. It's trying its best not to be Fake. Seen. Whoever or whatever. Home, the was, local crackhead. The local crackhead. Oh my God! It's the local crackhead. This was the ghost of the young girl. Who lost oh my God! It's the local crackhead. It's the local crackhead. It's the local crackhead. for the, the dead father or something. But given the history of this, is someone praying? No, it's a local crackhead. Most viewers believe that this yes, may have been an apparition. To this day. This video remains a mystery. It doesn't matter a mystery. I just solved it, guys. It's a local crackhead. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next. Okay, guys. If you guys want us to do another reaction video, uh, yeah. five likes, and we will call more bullshit out of more bullshit. Goodbye, guys. See you guys next time. Make sure you guys like and subscribe because only ninety percent of you guys. Or subscribe and make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time and make sure you tell us what we should do in the comments next then. Goodbye.